ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज द जेके फ्लिप फ्लॉप विद इन द सर्किट विजर्ड एज वी नो दैट फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर द मेमोरी एलिमेंट्स दैट यूज्ड टू स्टोर डेटा डेटा इज जस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बिट्स rather than a huge one okay so these are considered as the basic memory elements so either we have jk flip flop in the circuit wizard so yes and we have to find them out so we will go to like uh, 4000 b series and here we will search for jk flip flop so there are dual jk flip flop and but we will search for simple jk flip flop so you search them out and and see that either you are able to find a simple jk flip flop okay search from above so there are like 4013 is d type flip flop and forty twenty two octal and forty twenty six and then we are supposed to search for okay so in seven four zero zero series we have to search for package of yeah here it is dual jk flip flop and this one dual jk flip flop and this is also dual jk flip flop so we will take 74107 so this is our flip flop now there are two outputs and two inputs and one clock pen so we will go for it so logic gates and we will connect our inputs with this that is j and k and outputs with the q and q bar connect them out okay for clock we will just use an input pen okay on its high edge or rising edge or falling edge so it will work for us so okay now we will run it out now we have our clock switch and j and k so whenever j and k both are zero we can see that our clock is not having any sort of effect on output that is q must be 0 and q dash must be 1 so this is for 0 and 0 whenever our j is 1 and k is 0 then on falling edge of the clock q becomes 1 and q dash becomes 0 and even after it if you will change what's called as the state of j it is not going to change the output and due to this action this is called as the flip flop or having some sort of memory related properties okay this is called as latching action okay now we will make our k this 1 and j 0 then on rising edge you can see that uh, rising edge means when our uh, button or this input goes from 0 to 1 so no effect but when it comes from 1 to 0 then you will see the toggling effect or something now you can see that q becomes 0 and q dash becomes 1 and when when we will change our this k that is k then it is not going to change our output and again latching action is there and when we will make j and k 1 and 1 then we can see that q and q dash q becomes 1 uh, and q dash becomes 0 but this is 1 and 1 at 1 and 1 position we can see that whenever we will give the uh, clock uh, falling edge it will always go in toggling like q becomes q dash and q dash becomes q okay while 
in 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 just j is one and k is equal to zero then clock is not having any sort of effect on the output so but when both are one and one then our clock is having effect okay so things uh, you got the concept regarding how to use the jk flip flop in circuit wizard so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe